Hey guys, I'm Kendall. And this is another request to break down one of my songs. So today we're going to be breaking down Across Identities. As always, um, I'm doing a bunch of these videos for the month of March until the album comes out. So uh, if you want me to cover another song, let me know in the comments below and I'll probably get to it sometime this year. I don't know. Uh, it took me forever to do these videos, but I really wanted to. And I really wanted to get back to doing production breakdowns. So. Um, Hopefully this is interesting, or you learned something, or I don't know. Uh, if you like this con kind of content, let me know below. Subscribe and like the video definitely helps. And yeah, let's get in let's get into it. So some notable lyrics are um, "Live a lie, love a lie." So scared you'll fade away without a trace. Hope you don't forget about me. And this is just supposed to be like, um, uh, you know, if you know someone from online, because the entire song is about like meeting this online person. Uh, it doesn't have to be a romantic thing. They're just like very important in your life. Uh, but there's like, a, you know, a very real possibility that they could just like fade away, no trace. Uh, they could literally just like delete their account and they could just never log in again. You'll never see them again. Uh, just, you know, that's, that's always kind of like a scary thing when having like a really big online friend group or even like just one really good friend online um so i kind of wanted to like replicate that and just like the hope you don't forget about me um even after you log out like maybe just somewhere along the line we can meet again another notable lyric uh i will race across the earth real or fake won't change your worth i will find you i will find you different names different face all we know is cyberspace i will find you i will find you Um, and, uh, and then of course, Across Identities at the end. Um, so this is just like, it was just a really catchy verse, and I had this in mind right after I saw the movie, uh, Bell. Um, a lot of the song came from just watching that movie, uh, as I, I said in the short. Um, and it doesn't quite tackle just like having a different, like, double identity. Like, it's, it's, it's a thing in the movie, but not really. Um, but, uh... I really wanted to like hammer home the point of like, you know, uh, it doesn't matter like whether, you know, this is uh, talking to the real you or the fake you or like the online version of you. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a different name or a different face in real life. Uh, just like, you know, this bond that we have is like very special uh, and very important to me. So I really wanted to like hammer, hammer home that point um, and sort of play into the double identities thing. Uh, and the last notable lyric is, uh, as the days go on, oh, as the days go on and on, and we're swept up in time, living lies so paper thin, I'm sure we don't mind. But with the possibility that what we had was real, I just hope you don't forget. Sure and again, it's just a, uh, it's just to kind of. Uh, develop the story a little bit just like this person um, the person in question it's like you spend a lot of time with them uh, you know days uh, just go by so fast uh, when you're spending time with this person even though it's all online like it just it's it's all genuine moments um, and just like you know if, if there's even a slim chance that like this was a real connection that uh, that uh, if, there, if it was a real connection between uh, I guess hypothetical uh, me and them, or it could be any two people. Doesn't matter. Um, you know, I just just hope you don't forget about. Uh, just hope you don't forget about all the time that we shared, and that was like the main. Again, it's just hammer home. Hammer home is the main point of the song. So, as I as I say all the time with the song, is that the song was inspired by the movie Bell. And uh, immediately after getting out of the theater of watching it, like I really wanted to write something based on like that double identity, like just living a life online um, and being a different person online uh, and connecting with other people online. Uh, 
and the visuals and the music of that movie inspired me so much that I like I was just so like I was so like a uh, like in need of like get like venting out this in this inspiration or whatever uh I think I left the movie at 12 in the morning and then I talked with my friends uh, I went to go see the movie with some friends uh from high school and we talked until like three in the morning because it's been a while since we saw each other uh we talked online but uh we haven't really seen each other since like high school um because we all went to different colleges and then uh I got home at around four or five in the morning something like that and I just until like nine in the morning I was just working on this song um that's just how inspired I was like I was super tired but it didn't really matter to me um so uh I'll put a link to like the main song that inspired me um because I went back home and I watched it for like at least 10 times so it all started with the drop um I just had the drop in mind squared away uh so I can't show any of my sound design unfortunately because the project file got too big and I had to bounce a lot of things uh, and the original file and the original file won't play all the way through without like a lot of stuttering. Uh, I can't even really say for sure that this that I won't do it here, but we'll try our best. So these are my chords. Add an arp. Add a bass. Add the sub. And then just add like standard, standard drum beat. Throw in like a little percussion there. And all of that together uh, made basically the core of like the sound. Uh, uh. And then I ended up adding a pad. So then again with everything. Then the hi hats a little later. And for a while I only had that um, just sitting on it. Uh, so I wanted to fill this out more because I just the verses just weren't coming to me. Um, the verses weren't coming to me. So I ended up just doing, just trying to fill out this drop a little bit more. Uh, I ended up, ended up using these, but I ended up using these a bunch. Um, where did I? Uh, and they're like just little fills, uh, and then I have some on the... And there were just little fills to like go along with my drop. So. And then obviously, uh, there's some missing here, like just like uh, even with everything there. Like I really needed something like in the middle uh, during the during the pauses. So I made this cool ARP thing. And basically, like. I remember sort of how I did it. I don't remember like the exact wave table or whatever that I used, but basically made an ARP and then I put it through a format and then just made the format move faster than the actual notes in the ARP. Uh, gives it this kind of this kind of sound. So then all of this together, uh, all of this together would be. Um, And I, I had a pluck there, but it ended up being too much. Uh, the drop still felt empty to me, so I just ended up adding a lead on top of all of this. Uh, and that's just... It's a very simple lead, because I didn't really want to do anything super com complicated in the song. I didn't think the song really had the space to like have a very complicated and, uh, you know, commanding melody, so... Uh, that's the first drop. I got all of that done, like, 
day, like the first couple of sessions. Uh, so maybe it took me like a week, maybe, um, to really get this drop to where I wanted it. And uh, I kind of broke my own rules because I really focused on the drop, but it ended up like kind of turning on me because uh, I focused on this drop. And then I was like, the verses just weren't coming to me. Like it, I just couldn't really think of anything. Like I had a couple melodies that I was trying, but I, nothing really was like sticking. Um, so uh, I just kind of doubled down on making sure the section was cool because maybe it's an idea I could come back to. And I ended up writing, uh, I ended up writing the second drop right after doing the first one because you know it's essentially copy based uh, in terms of like instruments. Uh, so, uh, and that's where I got this melody from. Uh, this is, that's where I got this, like, the entire, uh, like, I just, as soon as I heard this, I just kind of, it just kind of came to me, like, the melody, and then the lyrics just, like, soon after. I will leap across the stars, no matter where you are, I will find you, oh, I will find you. And then when I went to record vocals, I did, like, different takes so that i could pan them Bar, i will find you oh i will find you they're pan they're pan in the mix but but i had that melody and i knew i wanted to use it for a drop i just didn't know where i ended up using it for a pre-chorus too but at the time i didn't know i was gonna do that i just wanted something during the drop um so basically i just took my drop instruments and instead of like having the pause in the middle It just goes for the entire time. Uh, and then, of course, my lead's different. Uh, basically, just the instrument's playing the entire time. So it sounds like. And then, I was, and then obviously, just adding the vocals. Across the stars, no matter where you are, I will find you. And that is all I had. Um, I had this little bell thing. And I thought that was really cool. I don't know why it's so hard panned, but here we are. So that's what... So for the longest time, I was just sitting on those. Um, I was just sitting on that, uh, that drop. Uh... I just basically did the two drops and I got into the trap where I just made a really good loop but I didn't really know what to do with it and I just couldn't, for the life of me, I couldn't think of anything. Tried a lot of ideas and just weren't happening so um, I did the drop basically early February of 2022 and then I didn't touch it until around May um, where I went to I went to Ohio to go see some friends um, and to go to a friend's wedding but uh, the friends that I stayed with, I've we were all online friends since middle school since so like 11 years at that point uh 11 12 years and i've only ever seen one of them in person um only one of them like they visited new york so this is like my first time seeing all of them and i was like disgustingly nervous um but it was really nice it was really nice uh you know we talked a lot just had a lot of fun it was great but on the second night um after hanging out the entire day I started thinking about this song again. Um, it just kind of popped back in my mind. I didn't even have my laptop or anything, uh, or I had it, I had my laptop on me, but I wasn't using it. Like I only used it for the plane. Um, fun fact: that trip is the trip that I wrote "Float Apart" on on the plane back home. But I didn't have a good like I, I just didn't have any time to really sit down and do music because usually on trips I like to bring my laptop in case inspiration hit. Uh, inspiration hits, but I was thinking about the song. And the verses just started coming to me. Like I just started like, I just started like humming a melody. And then I just like, almost like in an instant, like the words started coming to me. It's just, it was like, uh, like just right in the middle of like taking a shower for the night. Like I, the words just started coming to me. I was humming everything. I was like, okay, there's something here. Uh, like I'm really feeling this. So I took out my phone and I tried to do it as discreetly as possible. Cause I didn't want to look weird. Uh, and in the bathroom with the shower going, uh, I just sung like the entire rest of the song, like everything that I needed, just like the first thing that came to my head. It's just, that's, that's what I wrote down. Uh, I went back later, refined it. Um, but once I had that, I kind of knew where I wanted to go with the song. So, um, 
that night after I wrote down the verse and recorded it, and I was like, okay, cool, the song's starting to uh, starting to pick up. Uh, I think one of my friends like hung some, uh, hummed some kind of tune, like they did like some kind of like short like three note tune, and I was kind of just playing with it in my head, and that evolved into. Like, I just kind of played around with the melody that my friend hummed. I don't remember what it was, but I played around with it, and I just, like, took out, like, a piano on my phone, and I just, like, started, like, messing around with it. And then, um, I didn't actually record that. I think I just wrote down, like, the note names or something, or I actually, like, wrote, like, some really bad sheet music. Um, uh, but I knew, like, that, that had to have been the, that has to be the motif for my verses. So, uh, I had this going. And that basically dictates all of my chords. Um, but I knew I wanted the verse like really exposed in the beginning, right? Like I just, I really didn't want anything. Um, so I ended up just doing this with the, uh, it's just this and like the main melody uh, just going, so. Name after another. We're ones and zeros to each other. This can't be real. Then I have some like sci fi, computer y ambience going. Uh, then I put the drums in. Like, I still want it to be really minimal. So I uh, ended up putting like a kick in. Conversation with icons. I wonder how long will this all go on? Uh, and then it picks up st steam around here where I add like a little, like, like a, almost like a dreamy piano or. It's like an electric piano. Um, add a few presets here. Uh, this is just the first one, double and octave. I really like the double things, like in octaves. Um, I do that a lot in my music. I have like three octaves here. Uh, so these two are the same preset and this one isn't. Um, so I just, I, I like knew I really needed to, at this point, like I needed to up the intensity. So, uh, I put in this piano. It has like some interest in the background. And then ended up putting in a pad. Oh. Ended up putting in an actual piano. Uh, and by then this is the pre-chorus, this is where we get to that, I ended up using the drop chorus that I made as a pre-chorus, because I thought, it just, it's so catchy, like, it's just, it's so catchy. Um, ended up putting that here. Leap across the stars, no matter where you are, I will find you, oh, I will find you. When the world is at its end, living lives that are second end, I will find you, oh, I will find you. I will race across the earth, real or fake will change your word. Put some kicks back in there. Um, that's just the drop pad. Um, just to like add, introduce like a new element. Uh, so I have like basically three versions of my chords going on. And then I made this ambience uh, out of like a drone. Um, did I make this? I actually don't know if I made this or if this is a preset. Uh, it could be a preset. Lives that are second end. I think I think it took this and did like a like EFX on it and then transposed it. I'm actually not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm actually not entirely sure, but um, I have like a little drone going on going under here. Same ambience. Um, but the cool thing is that uh, I have this going on. Do I do it? Do I? Yeah, I have like I have like this art that kind of just flows in and out, just like goes in, um, you know, comes in, comes out, uh, just to add more interest. Cause without it. Leap across the stars, no matter where you are, I will find you, oh, I will find you. And that's fine, but with it. Leap across the stars, no matter where you are, I will find you, oh, I will find you. And then I really wanted to mimic the motif, but like do it a little bit slower. So I have another bell.
and it's just basically I'm just cutting the melody like I'm doing like the first phrase not doing the second phrase doing the third phrase not doing the fourth phrase and then all together the world is at its end living lives that are second end I will find you oh I will find you and this is a lot of subtleties and then we do we uh just standard build into um into the drop no is cyberspace I will find you oh I will find you across identity yeah so then for the second verse um I wanted to I basically wanted to start where I left off in terms of energy so I have like the motif and like the pad and the pads and piano <laughs> And then I also have like this pluck pad going, uh, just the serum thing. And I put some delay on it. Um, and then we get into it. I also, uh, and we get into the, the, the actually get into the verse. And then I have like this Reese going on. Um, have all of that going on. Uh, I go jump in and jump out. Day by day, I slowly, surely, without a doubt. No, this is real. And that's how I feel. And then I added like a little vocoder thing. Just because I thought it would be interesting. I thought it would be like just out of nowhere. It would be like really interesting to just do it. Um, yeah, no particular rhyme or reason. I just thought that would be a really cool thing to add. Um, and then we... I kind of take away the weight and then I add it back with the sub. I didn't want to add it immediately. Um, because then there's a, it, it ends up creating a huge contrast between... Or not a huge contrast, but you feel a difference between... And... Um, now that I put the sub in. Uh, you can really feel the difference. Uh, add the piano back. And it's just doing a little pattern. So. Days go on and on and we're swept up in time. Living lives so big with them. Sure we don't mind. With the possibility that what we had was real. I just hope you don't forget. And then... Uh, add like a little moment of just like quiet and then just go into like some hits because I really wanted to hit with that last verse just hope you don't forget um, and then I also added some ear candies here so without them with them And soloed. Oh. I just like adding random percussions, like in the background, just like just again that interest, just little doodads, just to you know, um, add like another layer of like stuff, I suppose, uh, and then. We get into the second pre-chorus, and that's just more of the same. It's just like that, you know, just a lot of hits, a lot of stuff. So, uh, going along with the vocals, like, I really wanted to, like, punctuate the vocals here. So I just have the, my piano do, like, hits. But then have everything else kind of flow past it, except for, like, my claps and my kick. And then I have this synth kind of mimicking the vocal. Just for emphasis, and then I add the swell pads, add the swell pads back. Add my basses back. And then we just we just build into the Peace across the earth. Real or fake will change your worth. I will find you. Oh, I will find you. Different names. And then we just build and build. We get into that second drop that we talked about earlier. Um, 
We're gonna do that second drop, and then we, uh... And yeah, that's basically worth cruising. I did this little break, just because I thought, like... I usually like to do breaks to separate my drops, um, if I have, like, you know, like, a, basically a double chorus. Uh, it's just a really cool way to, like, I don't know, do something cool, so... I will leap across the stars, no matter where you are, I will find you, oh, I will find you, in the world is... And it's just really cool to add, like, you know, a little break there. Got a little sub turn in there. Um, but before that, uh, some of you might know is that, like, uh, I was recording and I saw, like, I saw a bug. Um, I th uh, no, I thought it was a bug. It was like a piece of dust and it landed like right on my arm, like right when I was recording and I noticed it and that gave me the, uh, this little, this little sound bite here. Um, oh shit, Jesus fuck. And like that, that's like, I was, I was a little terrified, I can't lie. Uh, so. And I made a short about it, and someone was like, yo, you gotta put that. Actually, a lot of my friends were like, you have to put that in the song, so uh, put it right here and just let it lead into the signature. Oh, shit. Candle. Yeah, it's just like a cool thing. I also have like this little thing, too, just, literally just for that break. Uh, it doesn't play literally anywhere else. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's like this reason patch that I have. Uh, Super Audio Card is one of my favorite synths. Uh, it's this Iris patch that I made um, that I should honestly probably resave. Update, yeah. Um, so, so the layers by themselves. And then, and then, uh, then all together, it would be. And of course, I just OTT'd it. Uh, so yeah, it literally only plays during that break because I thought it was just a really cool sound. Um, uh, and yeah, that's basically all the production. It was like straightforward once I got it, like all once I got it like all figured out. Um, and I knew like I wanted the song to end that little arp thing that I played in the beginning, and then I just automated a bit crusher over it. Uh, that's why I have the second one. Um, I just automated so that like. By the end, it just, you know, it gets insane. Uh, and yeah, production's kind of pretty straightforward. Um, just really wanted to make a fun song, highlight the lyrics a little bit, highlight the melody. Uh, and yeah. So, uh, as always, I like showing you guys the mix, even if I don't really have a lot to say about it, and I don't really actually have a lot to say about it, because a lot of it was pretty standard stuff um you know i just did eq compression this is just what my mix looks like uh so that pretty be ear candies um again nothing super uh crazy about it uh i didn't want to make like all the uh all the fine use like more of like a choir so i ended up sending it to these two slap delays um so if i so actually uh if i take off the sends um so all these tracks so all these tracks that gives us i will find you oh, i will find you um i can even mute the reverbs that i have I will find you, oh, I will find you. And I ended up putting a putting these slap delays on them. I will find you, oh, I will find you. And it just sounds, it sounds a lot more like, like there's a lot more people. Like just a little bit. I didn't want to like overdo it. And then I put them through a reverb. I will find you, oh, I will find you. Um. So yeah. I wanted to have I wanted them to have a separate reverb than the main vocals. So uh with the main vocals it would sound like this. I will find you, oh I will find you when the And of course in context. I will find you, oh I will find you Um and yeah. Uh other than that, it's just again, I just like showing you guys the mix. Um 
just to show you like all like all parts of my process i basically just separated my vocals um separated my instruments eq compress whatever i needed for them and yeah that's essentially it that's all i really did uh they just basically did some mixing stuff um not really much to talk about honestly i don't really know what to talk about with these sections because it literally just is like i go in i go in i do my leveling like i make sure all the tracks volume wise are sounding pretty good eq compress um whatever i need to do uh if i can add interest somewhere but usually i do that in the pr in the production anyway uh and then i export i just like changing dots just it just helps my mindset and that's how i had to do it during school so it just the it just checks um uh, I did do this cool filter thing here. Identities. Oh. It's just a regular, like, just a filter thing with, like, just a high, just a regular uh, low-pass filter with just a high frequency. It's the same for all instruments. Um, I think I just did the rate at which it goes a lot differently. Um, or not, like, a lot differently, but, like, some of them have different rates just so that they're not all moving at the same time um because some of them were more uh low focus than not and i kind of wanted it to like all be quiet um i think my sub i didn't do it but my bass is my i think my bases start at a different point uh i don't know something like that um i played around with it there's a reason it's different for all of my instruments uh but yeah, uh, this is just what the mix looks like. Uh, like I said, I just did standard mixing stuff, but I, I wanted to show you guys anyway, because I always like showing you guys my mixes. And yeah, that's just the production for uh, Across Identities. If there's anything that I can do better in these videos, definitely please let me know. I'm totally open to feedback. Uh, but yeah, I hope it was interesting. I hope you learned. That's just what my production, my writing stuff uh, session and my mix session looks like. And yeah, this is just some of the thoughts that I had when I was working on the song. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.